Henry Kim Hefner became the first dean of a school of design at North Carolina State University in 1947. Kim Hefner accepted NC State's deanship offer under extreme conditions. He asked for the replacement of the current head and most of the faculty members of the Department of Architecture by men of national reputation, and the designation of a space specifically made available for the new school. Dean Kim Hefner was a key ingredient in the school's success. He was a demanding person and required superiority, creativity, and productivity. Even Kim Hefner had, had always instilled in us as students that we didn't have time to do anything other than to be in the studios. And uh, again, he, he was, uh, you, 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 you uh, you, I say this respectfully, you feared this thing. Dean Camp Hefner was quite an interesting guy. Um, to get into the school of design those days, you had to do a personal interview with him. And uh, I had seen pictures of him, but I had not met him prior to, to having that interview. And I, I uh, thought he was an amazing guy. Also thought, wow. <laughs> His ability to recruit outstanding faculty members has been the main reason for the excellence of instruction maintained over the years. Under Camp Hafner's leadership, the School of Design was referred as one of the leading architectural training centers in the world. Camp Hafner was an earnest patron of modern architecture and changed the face of North Carolina. In 1979, he reached the mandatory retirement age of 72. However, his legacy and impact over the architecture in North Carolina never died out.